Hey everybody, Linda the Gamer Gal here, and it's been about maybe two years or more since I've done a game room tour. My game room has changed a little bit, and I decided to show you all what I have done to modify it. Minor to some people, major to some, you let me know. So we'll start here and we'll work our way like the last time. So right here we start off with, we have comics in a comics box. I have two boxes, I need to probably get a third one, but in here is like Powerpuff Girls, I have some classics, I have some video game comics, some minor ones, I don't think I have any heavy hitters, but to me this is what I like. Then we're going to move on over to my books, and right here I have like some classics from the 90s, some like Christopher Pike, R.L. Stein, nothing like rare, but I do have like Wicked and some anime and different things like that. Some buddies of mine that are authors, like uh, I have a uh, right here, Zombie Fight Warrior, definitely check that out. Great book. <laughs> and then I work my way to here and I have VHS, I have like Jamming the Hologram, Sailor Moon, I have some DVD, Blu-ray of like Evil Dead from Budget, Thank You Budget, and then I have uh, Friday the 13th, and then next over here is I have like miscellaneous VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray, I have like Tailspin, Land Before Time, some like decom movies, and I have a couple PSP movies, and I don't know where to put them, so I just leave them with a the movie because I'm like, where do I put Rent and Friday? There's nowhere else to put them. Next we have some badges I got over the years from conventions. I just leave them here because I know where else to put them. And then Fear Night, um, I got this when I went to like a pop-up event for Fear Street. They were doing that and they gave those bags away. I'm keeping that forever. Let's go. Then we're gonna go onto this shelf. Um, I have some like miscellaneous boxes up here. It's my Coleco Vision flash bag. Um, I don't play very much. I try to keep it in the box just to keep it nice because there's a couple things that I could lose and that I don't know what I'm doing with the games. I have some controllers, I have Switch, God of War, that's my shit right there. <laughs> and I'm gonna work my way to the next shelf, which is all my Genesis and my Master System collection. This is a bunch of like, I have all the boxes in the back and then some like ones that have been pre-made for me. And then I have a couple miscellaneous like out of the box, just with some sleeves from video game dust sleeves. And then I have like all of in the back because I still need to get like a bigger one, but I'm just keeping it my buddy right there. Next shelf is miscellaneous. It's got Magic the Gathering, old cards that happened back in the day, uh, D and D collab, but that was before Hasbro did some weird ass crap that I don't fuck with anymore. And then I have Dare the Club, Star Frontiers, I have some uh, Alice is Missing, Oregon Trail card games from Dizzy, thank you Dizzy. And then I have, this is from early 2000s, I kept this all over like, my years, that is uh, called like a board game, it's kind of like a Monopoly a little bit, <laughs> and then you work your way down. This is uh, Starfinder, I have miscellaneous like... Uh, some stuff from like Call of Cthulhu, Power Rangers, I have Monster of the League, I have some zines from J.P. Cooper, and then I have like miscellaneous like, dice and different things like that. Then you work your way down, I have some stuff from Solarian, like Top Secret. This is all miscellaneous uh, and D&D, it's like 0 through 5. I started picking up 0 and 1 and 2 because I just started wanting to play it. After the Hasbro shenanigans, I just kind of was like, you know what, I'm gonna work my way backwards because I'm not gonna buy anything brand new, so whatever happens, happens. But yeah, we're gonna move this over a little bit so you can see the next part. Um, I have Power Rangers, VHS collection, some stuff from Edwin. Um, he has given me some pop figures over the years. And then right here is some of my other NES collection because these are all boxed or in like sleeves and stuff like that, so I don't know how anywhere else to put them. Then I have some like, Tamagotchi, more pop figures, and my old collection for Sailor Moon on the very bottom. I've had those figures for a little while and got them crunched over the years, but oh well. In this shelf, um, I have more pop figures. I have some miscellaneous. 
Krista, her and Walk always donate to and Alzheimer's for sure. Then I have from Game Hunters, I have a, it's a little like a figure that was made by them. And I keep that because that was awesome. Here's my Game Gear collection. Um, I've had this over the years. Uh, it's from middle school and on. Um, most of it is just fighters and, and uh, action games. I love playing it on the go, but sadly my Game Gear's not working. So I can just put them in and uh, play the ROMs now. Next is some of my NES collection, some of my Super Nintendo collection, some of Miscellaneous Game Boy, and then my handhelds like PSP, 3DS, and my minis are on the very bottom. Um, I have just Famicom, NES, Super Nintendo, Super Famicom, and some miscellaneous Zapper Gun stuff. I don't know where else to put it. Um, we're gonna work our way over here. I do have some little figures that were made by Zombie. These are little windows. <laughs> Appreciate Zombie. And then we have right here are just some little handhelds that I bought over the years from like Target and stuff like that. Carmen San Diego, Oregon Trail, the Major. And then we're gonna work our way again over to the next side. Chair out of the way. And that is Switch has gotten bigger over the years so I kind of like had to like figure out where to put them. I moved them over here. I got a couple positions, not very much, and then I have like a few hodgepodge on these two right here. I have NES, the rest of my NES, and then I have all the movies that are DVD, Blu-ray, that are of like video game related movies. And the next two shelves are PSP, the, like all my PSP games are here. I love these handheld games. Then on the very bottom is 3DS. DS, Atari 2600, and one of my Game Gears. The other one is in that case right here that I need to get fixed. <laughs> but we're gonna move on up to here. Now we have my controllers that are limited edition. We have some Rock Candy controllers, and then we have Last of Us Part 2, Halo Reach. And this is not a limited edition, this is just from Power Ray. I loved it, I, I thought it was awesome because it got like a better grip. Play Switch, so I keep that with me. And then right in front of that is God of War. Oh yeah. Next we have PS1. Um, I've been playing some PS1 games, so it's all over the place. I got PS2 controllers, PS1, and then some Japanese PS1 games. I still need to get a Japanese PS1 to play those. I keep forgetting. Then we're gonna work our way down to the next shelf, which is Xbox. Then we have PS4. I just put these here because I have nowhere else to put them. That's The Last of Us Part 2, the Deluxe Edition, Spyro the Deluxe Edition. And then here is all my PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 games. They're all mixed in together because I just felt like putting them together because I'm getting a little bit more PS5, but not enough to make a full section. So I might move them up here when I do finally get some more. And then over here, let me move this out. And over here is all of some random miscellaneous stuff. Freak got me this. This is Carmen San Diego. And then VG Legends, I won this in a giveaway. This is not modded, but it's a painted RE console for GameCube. Then we have my Xbox 360 collection, which is Golden Axe and all this other stuff. It's not very much, but it's nice. Then we go on down, next to is Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS2, not a lot, but it's a good section. And then we have on the next one is all the other random Xbox 360 games, that's the rest of my collection. The very bottom is books that are NES, Super Nintendo, random strategy guides, I put them there because I don't have anywhere else to put them. And then we're at the very tail end of the collection is my PS2, I have like two GameCube games, and then my Wii collection. It's not a lot, but I, I got what I liked. And then at the very, very end, we have the rest of my PS2 collection, some like heavy hitters I have, I have my GTAs and other things like that. And then the two pictures, this is from Ren, and then this is from Caitlyn. It's awesome, most that I keep. 
I enjoyed when he did that for me for the Saints Row. It was really awesome. I uh, they keep falling, so I have to figure out how to mount them again. But yeah, that is all my game room. Let me know what is your favorite part of the game room. Do you have any suggestions on how to keep these paintings from falling? Because I've tried random things and I don't want to keep putting holes in my walls. So if you got any suggestions, I'll take them. Don't forget before you roll out, hit the like. And if you are new, consider subscribing. It helps out the channel. I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody. Linda the Gamer Gal. She's here, she's playing games. Linda the Gamer Gal. She's here, she's playing games.